Hey folks, Dolph Andale here, and I hope you'll stick around and join me as I take a first look at the Resurrection Band Limited Run Vinyl Reissues out on Girder Music. Yesterday, I got a package in the mail that I've been anticipating for a while. It is the third, fourth, and fifth studio albums from Resurrection Band. And they've put them out on a limited run basis. Uh, when the pre-order came out, it was they basically gave you two color options or black vinyl. So I went through and picked which ones I wanted and ordered them. Uh, what these albums have in common is that these are the three albums that Resurrection Band did while they were on the label Light. So these are the Light records. Uh, they've been on several labels. I, I don't know the legalities of what, what albums the band owns or the albums that the uh, labels own. But clearly the band must now own light records. Or, or the light record output, I guess. I don't know. I'm just glad that these albums have been reissued. They're great albums. And uh, can only hope that, that uh, we see more vinyl coming out of the Resurrection Band catalog. Though I imagine as many labels as they've been on that might get a little bit tricky but let's let's look at these three so here is the original pressing of colors and here is the new repress get my hand out of the way uh, I do like the new cover better that resurrection logos kind of gets lost up there it's been moved to the bottom and a lot bolder on the repress. Here's the backs of the albums. This is the uh, old copy. This is the new. As you can see they're very similar. Just some stylistic changes made. I, but I always enjoy the, the updating of uh, the covers. They're usually tastefully done, and uh, and, you, and subtle improvements while not uh, losing the uh, the uh, kind of feel of what the album originally was. So this again, this is the old copy, and the gatefold inside. Just one album, but it is a gatefold, and of course you've got some pictures and lyrics. And I guess they decided they really wanted to, um, excuse me, can you not do that? Thank you. Cats. Anyway, I guess they decided not to uh, change much because it looks pretty similar here. All right, so now let's get to the nitty gritty. How about that vinyl, and how about that poster that they're going to put in here? Let's look at the poster first. Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. Look at that. If I can get a shot without glare, you can see that it's a black and white photo of the band. Man, they all look so young there. And then uh, the only thing in color is the uh, artwork from Colors. Great shot.
Now let's look at that vinyl. Comes in a uh, black poly line sleeve. Wow. That's incredible. There you have the uh, custom centering. Oh, I had that upside down. There you go. Anyway, that is a beautiful, beautiful looking record. And I love the way that the appearance of the record, of the vinyl, really artistically, aesthetically, uh, just ties into the actual artwork on the album cover. Great job. Great job. The uh, second repress is the Resurrection Band, Mommy Doesn't Love Daddy Anymore. I do not have an old school copy of this. So, I can't tell you what the other album looked like. There's the back. And, um, yeah, so it is a gatefold as well, and I don't know if the other one was, but this is a gatefold. It's got, uh, a picture with some, uh, lyrics. Let's take a look at that poster. That's pretty cool. It's the picture from the center or from the gatefold with the band at the bottom. So now we're going to look at the vinyl. That's pretty cool. And custom center rings. Again, the, the same picture. I'll have to familiarize. It, it looks like it's a picture of a young boy, probably dealing with, with the divorce of his parents. Which can be very traumatic. So here's the old school cover for DMZ collage on the back uh, not a not a gatefold but the uh, repress is and here is the repress and as you can see it, it doesn't look much different at all so and on the back the, again there's the old one so the new one is very faithful, same collage. Uh, they did simplify the uh, some of the writing on the back and got in there a good, clear track listing. And uh, so all of that looks good. The gatefold is more pictures of the band and uh, lyrics on the other side looks really good now we're going to take a look at the stuff on the inside we have a third poster and some more colored vinyl so resurrection band went by several names during the course of their career uh, they were known as uh, Re uh, Resurrection Band, uh, Res Band, Res, and then went back to Resurrection Band. Um, this is the uh, third poster. See Res Band at the top of it. So live, and there's Glenn Kaiser. 
I'm going to guess that Stu Heist, though I'm not sure. I don't know. I have to do some research. Uh, I unfortunately did not get to see Resurrection Band live too many times, and certainly not during this era. So, though I have all of their uh, just about all of their discography. Um, I don't know. I, I, it's a little bit hard for me to recognize anyone outside of Glenn and, uh, Wendy Kaiser. Okay. So now we got the, the vinyl. And wow, that looks great. Man. Good looking vinyl. And what I would expect uh, DMZ to look like as a vinyl. <laughs> yeah, great stuff. So there you go. There's a good look at the uh, new Resurrection Band reissues and uh, i hope you enjoyed that and glad you stopped by hey we're getting close to 400 subs on this channel i was beginning to wonder if we were going to ever get there but uh i appreciate everybody that comes here and takes time to see what i'm doing and uh yeah come back again sometime until then peace